Uh, right, time for some cookery. Uh, spring has officially sprung oh, into last. this morning kitchen. We've got some lovely smells going on because you've been working hard this morning, John. Well, actually, I haven't been working hard, which is the great thing about it. I, I talked to Kat about this before. Mm. This is the food we feed our family. And when you're all busy, everybody's really busy, and actually, so I, sort of, I take recipes from Lisa. Lisa takes recipes from me. We sort of put stuff together. And this is actually a classic old French one, but it's something that Lisa's been doing for ages. It's just a chicken, a, a chicken, creme fraiche, some frozen veg yeah. and some new potatoes and a lemon. That's it. And it's really simple. It takes an hour and 20 minutes, but you don't have to look after it. Right. It's not like your kids. So you both. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Nothing. So like you just kids. pop it in the oven and then come back and it's kind of all done. Yeah, we're sort of going to go halfway through. So okay. what you do, take a chicken, 300 grams of creme fraiche, and I've got quite. A, you've actually filled the inside mm -hmm. with creme fraiche, which is a bit of a weird thing to do. But creme fraiche is interesting. Not easy to do. Do you want a hand there? Thank you yeah, very much. Let me creme fraiche is that what happens is mm. creme fraiche is, is already cooked. That's it, done. Yeah. Lovely. So that's it. It's already cooked. So what happens is it's stabilised. And so what that means is that when it cooks, it can become a sauce. Oh. Take a half a lemon, stick half a lemon inside the cavity. Mm -hmm. God, shucking and then all you do is just take that little bit of elastic that was on the legs again, mm -hmm. and you put the, the elastic back around the outside of the legs. Yep. So does the, does the lemon add the citrus, but also stops the creme fraiche flying out? Probably from flying like out, but it also means that inside... The thing is, if you talk about Chinese cookery, right? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Chinese cookery, yes. they season the inside of everything. We don't season the inside of a chicken, we season the outside. Why? Yeah. The inside is really important because the skin is the only thing that gets seasoned. So all that lemon and, and acid from the cream inside seasons the inside of the chicken, cooks the inside of the chicken, and away you go. Take mm. your potatoes, they go around the outside. I've just power boiled those. You've peeled those though, haven't you? Don't have to. Okay, fine. You I can was, leave the skins on if I, you want I, to. I was just being picky. Mm. There you go. And then that goes into the oven. Yep. 180 degrees, and it goes in there for half an hour whilst I wash my hands. It doesn't take me half an hour to wash my hands, but it takes me a while. And then what Two happens... Two of happy birthday, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Happy birthday to me. Then what happens is then after, after 30 minutes, you pour in a big glass of white wine and you put it back in the oven for 40 minutes. OK. Oh, yeah, we saw you pop in and do that. <coughs> that's just pour it. the wine in. Pour the wine in, that's it. Straight in? Just straight, straight over in. the... Right, fine. Straight in there. So now what we do is then we're going to now make the sauce, which is really quite complicated. Oh. So you've got to watch this, OK? I'm not complicated at all. No, though. it's no not way. I'm not complicated at all. You take the, sort of the, the mix up there. Yeah. You take a little slit on each side of your chicken next to the legs. Yeah. Because when we're going to carve this, we don't want to lose all the juice. But if you do that, all the juice comes out. Then you just pick it up with a, a fork, carving fork. Like that. Wow. That go with you. <laughs> and <Yeah>. then... <laughs> Mind the silk, John. Mind the silk. Sorry. Pick it up and then all the creme fraiche and all the lemon comes Ooh. out. Oh, wow. Where did the lemon go? The lemon's there. Oh, the lemon's in there? Yeah. I thought it'd been absorbed into... <laughs> Do you know what's really worried about? I knew that as soon as I... Barry, Barry in the box will always make a comment when I do something like this, right? Always. He'll have that, and he's giggling in the box now, going, oh, my God, oh, my God. Anyway, what, what's going to happen, Barry? It's going to go on the stove here and make a sauce. There we are. So what we do Ooh. now is I've taken frozen peas, frozen broad beans, a mixture you can buy from the supermarket, and then I've just poured boiling hot water across the top of them. Yep. Keep them in a bowl, and they're now so they're, they're sort of done, ready to go. Remember, they're cooked. Yep. Into... So you did nothing more than put boiling hot water across them no. and just let it sit. No. In you go. That's it. No seasoning needed. Nothing. Because all ready to go. Now, watch this. Because now, Barry, we're going to see how to carve a chicken. <laughs> now, this is going to make you go, ooh, 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 now, isn't this it, really? is important, because I'm hopeless at carving, John. Right, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really fast. And so if everybody... And I'm just going to chuck some spray onions in there as well. I feel like you're moving everything out of the way. Is this going to be dynamic and exciting? This is really quick. Because I think a lot of people find it difficult. Right, so... OK. You take the wings off first. Yeah. So the wing comes off, one wing, and then the other wing. So that's the first bit. Get rid of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where all the collagen is. For all those people who are having collagen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. yes. There I'm you are. Sorry. And oh. they're very tasty. They're the delicious. Tasty they're brilliant. Okay. Then take where we slit the legs. Remember, we just slitted the legs to the, the sauce come out. Yeah. You just push it. You don't carve it. Oh, just sort of push that off. Push it off. it off. And your chicken, because it's cooked and it's had the creme fraiche inside, is all lovely and tender. Like it's really moist, you isn't can it? See like buttermilk chicken. Delicious. Juice. Right? So now I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut a piece there because you guys are going to eat some of this in a second. There we are. There. And then do that one. And then we're going to take the breast off. OK. The breast is the, the, the easiest part because it sort of tells you where to go. The breast is clever. It's got a little line down the middle of it. Mm -hmm. It's called the breast plate. You put your fork on one side. Cut down the side and you push your knife. Mm -hmm. Just push it. Don't carve it. Push. Yeah. 
And the I mean, it's got to be away. super tender for that just to yeah. fall off like that. I mean, obviously, yeah. you've, you've well, cooked that beautifully. But that's, that's the sort of ready to go. That goes like that. Done like that. There's how, if you want to make yourself a nice little bowl of soup. Yeah. There's oh, your yeah, chicken your bones. Broth. Chicken Done. bones. It's a recurring theme. goes onto here. It's a recurring theme. There we go. That and looks then, so juicy. Then your chicken goes there. I'm going to give you both a plate in a second so you can just help yourselves. And then you can just go from there. So there you go. That's a big chunk of chicken. Whoa. You want a big chunk of chicken? Yeah, I do, you I do. do. I mean, yeah. that's no. Well, I mean, it depends upon. A big chunk of chuck. Danny's wow. coming in. Dan, then you take come this lovely Come and get stuck in, mate. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. So you, our lovely sauce we've got here. We'll get you started. So you've literally just now mixed it up. That's, that's it. That's mixed the sauce up. And all you do then is just take that, mm -hmm. put that together like that. You take some watercress across the top. And you've got yourself chicken for everybody, a big spoonful of sauce. Can we try some? Then please. Was that, quen, was that creme fraiche you've put in there? Yeah. Yeah. Fresh. yeah. Shoves madness. it into the, <laughs> into the <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Looks a bit filth from here, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> <It's a bit laughs> try that though, and tell me if that's filth. <laughs> no, not the chicken. Oh. Let me have a little bit Let's of this. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Come on, grab a bit Puts of chicken. There. there you go. Yep. Dan, do you want any here? There you go. Take mm -hmm. a look. And have a little bit of potato. Potato, should I do a bit of these? It's lovely there. Okay, good. Danny, Thanks, Kat. You're wow. welcome. Thanks very much. Cheers, You're welcome. That chicken is delicious. Doc. You Have said a... that was surprise, Ben. No. Congratulations. I hear MasterChef's coming back. 20th year. MasterChef's on its way back. Oh, is it? John and Lisa's kitchen's been announced as coming He's back in, in <laughs> September. All sorts of things are happening. And that's coming Fast from Danny Dyer. No, no. The peas are a bit odd. Well, I'm a baker now, aren't I? But hold on, hold on, hold on. I like a bit of an al dente pea. Something's so, a bit of a crunch in it. What do you mean the peas are hard? That's have, have, from a bang, him as well. have a bang on Listen, one of them peas, John. You, honestly, you, you, you're lucky I wasn't take my judging crown out. egg. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. perfect. I like that. Do you oh, prefer? Do you prefer the like mushy pea? Yeah. You mushy pea. Yeah, more of a mushy pea. We're going to carry on mm -hmm. uh, eating this food and discussing the virtues of strong to mushy peas. And next yep. time I'll do fish and chips for you. Well, oh, yeah. that will do. But for details on today's recipe, check out our free this morning app.